Oh my god. Luke, I am your father. Hi, I'm Bridget with Sleepopolis, and today I'm here to share our favorite DIY method to clean a mattress. It's easy and non-toxic. We first shared this method a few years ago and got a ton of comments and questions, with a lot of people wanting to see how it does on other stains. So today, I am going to suit up. and clean all the stains off this mattress. Gross. Let's go over the supplies you'll need. And no, you don't need a hazmat suit. It just wouldn't be Sleepopolis if we didn't get a little extra sometimes. But here are the actual supplies you need, and most of them, if not all, you should already have in your home. First vacuum cleaner, as you can see here, then clear dish soap, white vinegar, hydrogen peroxide, baking soda. We have three boxes here for safety. You may not need all of that, but it's a safe amount to start with. Next up, you'll want a toothbrush, a white rag, and two empty spray bottles. Now that we have our cleaning supplies, strip the bed and make sure nothing is on the mattress. And I do need to point out that fresher stains are going to be much easier to clean than long-term stains. And the same goes with lighter stains compared to dark stains. But if you do this cleaning method and you still see some residue from the stains, that does not mean it's not necessarily clean. So let's look at the stains we're going to be cleaning today. They are looking kind of nasty. Starting in the corner, this is coffee that's been here for about a week and a half. Everything else has been here about a day and a half, including this coffee. But I also wanna put some fresh coffee on here too, just so we can really see the difference in what time can make. All right, so there's our fresh coffee. Now over here, we have red wine. We have chunky salsa. We have rice soup. Uh, this is marinara sauce. We have duplicates of urine and blood. We ordered some samples online to get as close as possible to the real thing because, well, I don't think I need to say anything else there. And then we have, believe it or not, ice cream. I think it was cookies and cream. We'll start our cleaning by picking up any food pieces on the bed and then vacuuming. We just have a standard vacuum. I would probably recommend using a handheld or a more lightweight one if you can, but it'll get the job done. So when looking at cleaning up blood and urine stains, we're really only going to use three of these ingredients. And we're gonna start by mixing water and white vinegar in a spray bottle. I already have the water in here, and so I am going to pour in the white vinegar. It doesn't smell like chemicals because it is just vinegar and water. Sprinkle baking soda on the stains and spray it with the mix. It'll turn into a paste. Scrub it in and allow it to dry. Give it about half an hour or longer, then vacuum it up. As for the other stains, the solution is a little different. So again, you're gonna have half water in your spray bottle, but this one's gonna have half hydrogen peroxide. Oh, <laughs> I didn't really think that through. There we go. Okay, woo! And then you're also going to put two big squirts of the dish soap in it and shake it up. One, two, oh my gosh, you guys, I have dish soap. Oh my God, that was way too much. Okay. Okay, I cleaned that up. I fixed our little solution here, but this is what happens when you are doing DIY stuff. But now, shake it up. First, sprinkle an even coat of baking soda all over the stains. Maybe use a sifter if you want it to be more even. Rub the baking soda into the mattress and set the timer for 10 minutes. Vacuum the mattress again and possibly empty the vacuum if needed. Shake the cleaning solution up and spray it all over the mattress. Fun tip, you can add essential oils to the cleaning solution if you want it to smell nice too. Then cover the mattress with baking soda again, rub it in with a white rag and scrub with a toothbrush. I recommend extra baking soda for dark stains. Okay, now we wait. 
Let the mattress sit for at least eight hours. So I'm going to get out of here and clean up because I smell like vinegar right now. I will see you soon. The next day. Hello, I am back. Now that we've let the mattress sit for at least eight hours, we gave it a little longer, I'm here to finish the job. I'm gonna break up any residue by scrubbing it and then we're gonna vacuum the mattress. All right, let's take a look at our results here. And honestly, at first glance, I am pretty impressed, especially starting with our coffee in the corner here. All three stains of coffee are basically completely gone. I can see a tiny bit of residue on the stain that was here for a week and a half, but again, pretty much all gone. Now if we move over here, this was our red wine, so I'm actually a little surprised by the color because it is kind of yellow, which I can tell that the wine spread through the mattress more, so if I would have widened my area of cleaning, it might have done a little bit better of a job, but overall I think that it lifted the stain really nicely. Over here we had the salsa. Again, a little bit of residue, but pretty nicely done. This was our marinara sauce. Pretty similar to the salsa, you can see a little tint, but it cleaned it up pretty good. Over here we had soup, which I can't even see where that stain was because it's completely cleaned. Over here was our fake urine. I can see a tiny bit of yellow on where the rim was, but this is cleaned up really nicely as well. Okay, fake blood didn't do as well, but again, this did sit here for a day and a half. It is our darkest stain and it lightened up a little. So if you are dealing with blood, I would recommend repeating the cleaning process and also just getting to it as quickly as possible. And I do need to point out again that just because there's a little bit of residue or some residue here, doesn't mean the mattress is not clean. And looking at all these stains, I'm really not that surprised that blood is the one that stuck around because blood's just really hard to clean up in general. Okay, and our last stain, which you also cannot see, was our ice cream, our cookies and cream ice cream. Perfectly cleaned up. So overall, I would say I'm pretty impressed with these results. And yes, this was a lot of baking soda, I will admit that, but we were cleaning up several stains here, and if you were just cleaning up one or two, you're not gonna need as much baking soda. And again, the whole point of this video was just to bring you a non-toxic, easy, do-it-yourself method of cleaning at home, where you hopefully already have some of the products readily available. All right, hopefully you found this cleaning method helpful. Of course, there are several ways to clean a mattress and I'd always recommend to check your mattress warranty information to see if there's any specific wash instructions for your particular bed. This again is just our favorite DIY non-toxic method. And I can't say this enough, I really recommend investing in a mattress protector, especially if you're stain prone. They're inexpensive and they go a long way. But if your mattress is as stained as say, this one right here, and it's older than eight years old, it might be time for an upgrade. Head over to sleepopolis.com for mattress reviews, product information, and all things sleep, and I'll see you next time. Oh gosh. <laughs>